janitor found what? Drugs. Right here in your classroom. Just keep an eye out for anyone who looks suspicious. Oh, I will, all right. I'll make sure we catch him. Good morning, class. Everyone, bring me your homework. Thank you. Hi, Miss Karen. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have my homework. But I brought you this apple. Oh, Adam. You are so sweet. You know what? It's fine. Just bring it tomorrow. Marcus, where's your homework? I, um... Uh... Don't tell me you didn't do what you had all weekend. Look, I'm really sorry. I just... I've been really busy the last couple days. Busy doing drugs. Look, could, could I please just have one more day to finish it? No. I'm giving you an F. All right, class. Who can solve for X? Maybe someone who hasn't gone in a while? Marcus? Marcus! What? Were you sleeping in my class? Oh, no, no. We... Oh yeah, look, I, I didn't get much sleep last night. Mm hmm. Cause you were out partying. Why don't you come up here and solve this problem? Let's see. Uh, uh, it is not that hard. I know. I know. I'm just. I'm having a really hard time concentrating. Uh-huh. And why is that? Are you trying to hide something? Is that why you got those sunglasses on? No, 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 no not at all. No? Okay. Go ahead and remove your hood and your sunglasses. Look at me. Your eyes are bright red. I know. The past couple of days, I've gotten like no sleep. And, and what what happened was. Oh, I, I was knew it was you. What? What was me? First, you don't turn in your homework. Then you fall asleep in my class, and you come up here with these bloodshot eyes. Admit it. You're on drugs. <sighs> On drugs? I've never done drugs in my life. Oh, uh-huh. The janitor found drugs in this classroom, and it was obvious whose they were. You know, you should really just ask before assuming. Mm-hmm. That's enough. You're going to the principal's office. Adam? Uh, yes, Miss Karen? Come up here and solve the problem for the class. Um, uh, yeah, no problem at all. Thanks. Let's go. Thank you for coming in, Mrs. Wesson. We haven't been able to get a hold of your husband yet, but we can go ahead and start. Uh, there's no easy way to say this, but we found out that your son is on drugs. What? No. No, there's no way. Marcus would never. That's what I said. He fell asleep in class. His eyes are bright red. And there are a lot of other facts. Well, that's just because he has a lot going on at home. But I promise you, it has nothing to do with drugs. Look. I know that no mother wants to believe that their child is abusing substances. Maybe we should wait until Marcus's father gets here. Marcus's father isn't coming. Oh. Okay. Is everything okay? No, it's not. 
You see, Marcus and his father have always been close. If you ever asked him, he'd always say that he had the best dad in the world. But what he didn't know is that his father wasn't the very best husband. He was seeing other women behind my back. He didn't even try very hard to hide it. I knew it wasn't right, but I never left because I didn't want Marcus to grow up without a father. So I never told him. Until one day, Marcus found out for himself. He walked in on his dad and saw everything. So you see, the reason Marcus hasn't slept and why his eyes are all red is because his dad left yesterday and he moved in with his secretary. And Marcus and I were up all night crying. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Wesson. We had no idea you and Marcus were dealing with all that. It's okay. Honestly, it's for the better anyway. I'm just worried about him. I'm sorry as well. <laughs> but it doesn't change the fact that we found drugs in the classroom. And I know they belong to your son. No, no, no I'm, I'm trying to tell you, they weren't mine. There is no way. Those were not his. My son does not do any drugs. Well, if they weren't yours, then whose were they, huh? Look who I found doing drugs in the bathroom. What? Adam? No. No, that can't be possible. This must be a mistake. I caught him red-handed. Well, let's take him to the security office. This isn't fair. Let me go. Come with me. Gosh, I can't believe I thought it was you this whole time. I kept trying to tell you. I should have asked instead of assuming. I am so sorry, Marcus. Man, she's a looker, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, give me a couple weeks and I bet you I bet can. what? Actually, never mind. I don't want to know. <laughs> What's up, princess? Oh, did you get lost looking for the little girl's room? That's <laughs> <laughs> And we wonder why people think some cups are pigs. Ooh. Oh, careful, boys. I think she may be PMSing. <laughs> All right, everyone. Last day of training. Let's get out there and make it count today. Come on, let's get it. Look, I know you're used to wearing heels. Try your best to keep up. Okay, princess. All right. Good work, Roy. Let's see. Doyle, you're next. Let's have you spar with Allie. Oh, what? You gotta be kidding me. You want me to spar against a woman? Yeah. What's wrong with that? Look, female cops belong behind a desk. Or better yet, in a kitchen. <laughs> Not on the streets fighting bad guys. Come on. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Ooh, be careful. Don't break a nail or something. <coughs> Had enough, princess? <coughs> All right, that's enough. Good work, Doyle. Give me a hand. Face it, women belong in the kitchen. You should be making us all coffee instead. <laughs> See how the way I took her down yesterday? <laughs> like, right? like that? Yeah, she can't, she can't keep up with us. That's the yeah. thing. Oh, wow. This is a surprise. After that beating I gave you earlier, I thought you were going to quit. Well, it's a good thing that I didn't. 
Because you might be begging for my help one day. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Actually, I almost forgot. Give me another cup of coffee. She, while you're at it, get us all another cup of coffee. Ooh. Since that's all you're good for. Thanks. Okay, troops. That's it. It's official. Training's over. It's the real world out there now. So take this seriously. Eli, you're with Roy. Awesome. George, you and Sean. Hey, Sarge. Can I partner with Billy? Trevor? Yeah, no. You're with Allie. <laughs> oh, what? You must be joking. Are you trying to get me killed? Seriously, I'd rather work alone. You don't have that choice, do you? Now get out of here. Come on, princess. Your only job is to make sure my cup stays full. Understand? You're right. Keep dreaming. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Everyone knows women can't drive. Get in the passenger seat. Hurry up! <laughs> Y'all probably just drop her off at the nail salon and meet up with you boys. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think a first call is going to be? Uh, I don't know. Hopefully nothing too dangerous, since I've got you as my backup. Can you stop it with the constant of female jobs already? It's getting old. 211 in progress on 11th and Brand. Any units available? <laughs> That's right around the corner. Let's go. Hold on to your skirt. This is Officer Doyle. We're on the way. What are you doing? What do you mean? Trying to stop the robber? You think we're going in there to play with dolls? It isn't safe for you. Stay in the car. Oh. Stay there. Get off me. Police, don't move. Why'd you do that? I had the situation under control. It looked to me like you needed help. Just go back and wait in the car. This is a man's job. Hey! Hey, what are you doing? Stop this! Get off! Hold still! You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. I want to speak to my attorney. Come on, let's go. How'd you do that? I said I had it under control. Yeah, right. Hey, let me out of here. Get comfortable because you're staying here for a long time. <laughs> Good thing we got him. Wait till the Sarge finds out. He's probably gonna promote me. <laughs> promote you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't believe you guys bagged Ronnie the robber. And on your first day, too. We've been after this guy for months. Yeah, well, that's what you get when you put the right man on the job. Oh, did you catch him? That's not what Yeah, but... Did you really think a woman had anything to do with that? <laughs> <laughs> He's lucky he had her as backup. I had him pinned to the ground, and he couldn't even keep up with me. If it wasn't for her, I would have gotten away. Quiet! Before I charge you with disorderly conduct. Never. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <laughs> you know how these criminals are. Bunch of liars. Yeah. We saw the whole thing through your police body cams. Excellent work, Allie. Really impressive. Thanks, Sarge. You know, we're promoting somebody to sergeant. You think you'd be interested? The only drawback is uh, you'd have to get a new partner. I would love that. What? You're gonna promote her? What about me? Look, you need a real man for that job. Actually, I do have a new job for you too. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> what is it? Go get me a fresh cup of coffee. While you're at it, get Allie one too. 
You better get used to it. She's your new boss. Come on, Allie. Let me show you your new office. Oh, and um, I like my coffee with two creams and two sugars. Thanks, princess. I take mine black. Are you okay? You've been in there a while. Yeah, Mom, I'm fine. Why did you lock the door? I told you not to lock the door. What are you doing in there? Just give me a sec, okay? I'm coming in. Mom, you can't just come into my room like this. You're doing drugs? It's nothing, okay? It's nothing. You said you quit. Look, I don't need a lecture right now, Mom. Just give him back. No. What are you doing? Stop. I can't believe you just did that. I don't even know who you are anymore. Where is my son? The one who wanted to be somebody. The one who wanted to start his own business and help people. This isn't him. I told you I'm going to quit, okay? I have been trying to help you. If you don't stop... You could end up in jail, or worse. Please hear me. You have to go back to rehab. Rehab? I can't go back there. That counselor, what's his name, Phil? He said I'm never gonna change. Have you changed, Grant? Look, I know it was hard for you when your dad passed away, but this, isn't the way. I don't have time for this, okay? I gotta go. There he is. What's up, Danny? What's been up with you, man? Still working on that business and stuff? Yeah, I haven't really gotten around to it yet, but uh, it's gonna be big. Real big. Yeah, right. Anyway, you got the cash? Got stuff? Yeah, man. Right back here. Hey, Danny. Who's this guy? No, no, stop. Look at you, Grant. You will never change. Never. Good luck with your business. friend. I told you! I told you if you didn't stop, something bad was going to happen to you and look at you! It's not a big deal, okay? I just need to borrow some money. No. That's it. Enough is enough. Grant, I love you with my whole heart, but this has got to stop. Mom, I don't need another lecture. Do you think your father would be proud of you? This is it. You are going back to rehab. What? Mom, no. Don't do this to me, okay? I don't have anywhere else to go. Please. Son, I know you can change. There is a greatness inside you. But in order to change, you have to change. Mom, you can't just kick me out. Go. Just go. I can't look at you like this anymore. <laughs> hey, 
Mr. Cardone. Grant, I thought I'd see you here again. 14 days clean. <laughs> I didn't think you'd last 14 hours, to be honest. Here's your release papers, sign this. You know, everyone here said you're doing real good, but I know you'll be back in rehab real soon. No, I won't. You know, I'm gonna start a business, maybe write a book. I'm gonna help people. <laughs> help people. Grant, you will never change. Will never change. Will never change. Son, I know you can change. But in order to change, you have to change. You know what? I am going to change. Going forward, I'm never going to do another drug in my life. <laughs> yeah, right. Look, the truth is you are a drug addict. You're either going to wind up dead or back here in rehab. No. I've got big goals. You're going to be asking for my autograph one day. You'll see. <laughs> no, your only goal should be to stay off of drugs. Grant goes back to his mom's house and is tempted to go back to his old ways. But this time, he finally makes the right decision. He applied for a job selling cars and pretty quickly became a top car salesman. He sold more cars than anyone else in his company, but that was just the beginning. The new Grant had bigger dreams. 10 times bigger. He started writing books, and over time, Grant became one of the best-selling authors in the world. Grant started speaking to small crowds, and then those small crowds turned into massive crowds. Grant finally was living the life he dreamed of, a life that he knew his dad would be proud of. Then one day, he happened to run into Phil. Mr. Cardone, it's Grant. Yeah. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Phil, counselor from when you were in rehab. Yeah, I remember you. You're, you're the guy that said I'd never be anything more than a drug addict. I really regret saying that. I'm so sorry. You, you, you got one of my books? This? <laughs> yeah, it's for my daughter. Uh, she's a huge fan. Would you actually mind sure. signing it? Yeah, happy to. How did you do it? All the books, all the businesses, and helping out all these people? Took some great advice from a wise woman. She's told me, to change, you gotta change. And I just 10 x it. Thank you so much. Who was that, dear? That was Phil, the, the, the counselor from rehab. He's reading one of my books. Wow, your dad would be so proud of you. Have a seat, I'll bring him right out. Hey, watch where you're going, man. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know how expensive this suit is? Much more than you can afford. You're probably right. I'm really sorry, sir. Some people. Anyway, um, let me get um, three slices of cheese. We have a five for five dollar deal if you want to add two more. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Great, have a seat. I'll bring them right out. What the heck? Okay, five slices of cheese.
Great pizza, right? This is unbelievable. Really? You're gonna take the last slice of pizza? No. Oh. Sounds like you're hungry. There you go. That is disgusting. What is wrong with you? You know what? You should be ashamed of yourself. You should go out and get a job instead of eating other people's food. Here's your pizza, sir. No, no, no. No, you already dropped mine off. Oh, that was his pizza. He ordered the same thing. Oh my god. That was your pizza? Yes, it was. I'm so sorry. That whole time I, I thought you were eating my, my pizza. And, and then you, you split that last slice in half. But why? Well, I may not have much, but I'm always happy to share. I shouldn't have been so quick to assume. <laughs> please, please have some of mine. I'm more than happy to share. Oh, hey, watch it! I'm so sorry. You wear a wig? Oh, well, I... Hey, is Bud Beth gonna cry? Say cheese. Hey, buddy, you're famous! <laughs>